Hey everyone, this is a Q&A workshop. I have a couple of questions here on my iPhone that I'll be reading out and answering. If you want to answer, if you want more questions like these, and if you want to just have an answer on your question, please post them either in the comments or somewhere where I can read them and gather them. I'll try to do these either you know, bi-weekly or weekly if I can do that, I travel a lot. Uh, and then kind of let's just jump into it. The first question I have here is, um, so, uh, the guy is uh, working on storytelling, uh, is a digital nomad, um, actually really good YouTuber, shout out to you. Uh, but the question is, I feel like creative videos are going away from digital nomad specific content. Should I rename the channel and post them to a new site or just keep the name but understand the content isn't exactly in alignment? If I keep the name, I could use the SEO article strategy to push traffic views to the video. We were discussing about the idea of digital nomad isn't really engaging with him. He wants to go into storytelling. Um, it's, it's a much more kind of interesting path where you share people's stories, where you engage in that, uh, whereas just, you know, traveling, oh, this hotel is cool. At one point it kind of starts boring out. But the idea, what I found, I've been doing this like for 10 years now uh, on the corporate side first, uh, obviously my own business, and then slowly switching when we created our event, we had a lot of these startups that started doing uh, business to consumer products. Uh, and so when you go towards people, uh, and selling to people instead of corporates, uh, you start like figuring out that the brand alignment is super important, but like crazy important when you run ads. When uh, So when you run an ad, but your ad account, so the page that you run it with, uh, has a weird name or just completely not aligned, people get confused. Uh, I noticed when we run YouTube ads, uh, it might be less of a of a thing, uh, just because people are just kind of don't look at the subscriber, I guess the the creator of it. They kind of look at the video and the headline and thumbnail. But then eventually, when you want that subscriber, they're gonna look at your profile, right? Um, and so, based on ad spend, I can tell you it does matter. Uh, it also matters when you have an email list. Uh, you can't kind of turn people from one YouTube profile and get them to an email list, which is, you know, that's the goal. If we're creating a proper community uh, or a business or something that will last us for years and not just a YouTube channel where YouTube can pull your account the next day and you can't do anything about it. So, so we want to get people off these platforms into a community that you have control over where you can actually help them. Right. Uh, and so you don't want uh, you, you don't want that bridge to not be aligned. So the, the first mistake that I actually did that with is we created this uh, this brand basically. Um, we, ha we had this massive event brand, like a thousand people would like show up to the events, stuff like that. Uh, and we wanted to create courses around that brand, but it just, it wasn't aligned. And so when we were putting out courses, people were kind of confused, like, why are you putting out these specific courses? So what I realized is it it'd be better to just basically use the same colors, use everything the same, even like the same website, wireframe and structure, just a different brand. And so we called that a different brand. Uh, and through that brand, we started launching courses uh, and licensing courses uh, and also different digital products. And it seemed to align much more. So in your case, should you change the channel name? I mean, my guess is yes, just because if you're using the funnel that I just described, the funnel, uh, needs a bridge and that bridge needs to be in alignment. If you are a digital nomad, but you're talking about storytelling in your email list, you're just not going to get them there. Or they might sign up to your email list because they watch your YouTube video, but then get an email from you about storytelling and be confused because, you know, they signed up to a digital nomad person. Um, and so then the question continues to, uh, understand the content is exactly in alignment. I, I described that already. If I keep the name, I could use the SEO article strategy to push traffic views to the video. I mean, listen, you can keep the name uh, and still, you know, if you have the website name, you can still publish articles there and refer to that other website. But I would kind of just accept that you just need to build a new brand. Uh, you have the skills now to, cause you know, you grew on this other brand. So you, it's not like you're starting really from zero. It's not like you're, you know, a 15 year old starting from basically zero, building up a new brand. You've built up a brand, you know what it takes. It will go faster this time. 
Um, I did that uh, multiple times. It takes about three to six months. Uh, I always think it's going to take like 12 to 18 months and I strategize for that. I budget for that. But you know, it actually takes three to six months. It's worth it. Uh, and because of the brand alignment throughout your entire funnel, uh, you're going to feel it when you start actually getting people in your community. They get engaged with you. They, you know, they love you. They, they basically just, you know, do what a community should be doing, work together and enjoy life together. Uh, so yeah, I definitely recommend changing the name, but do it, you know, with care and see uh, how you can minimize the SEO effect by maybe, you know, keeping like one website and then aligning and sending articles uh, towards that new website or something like that.